Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're covering a shocking turn of events involving Diddy, one of music's most influential figures. In a dramatic courtroom scene, his $50 million bail was denied, leaving him in disbelief. Once a tycoon with a luxurious mansion and a private jet, he now faces the grim reality of life in a cramped jail cell. In a last-ditch effort to secure his freedom, Diddy presented an astonishing bail package that left many stunned. Imagine the weight of that moment as his lawyer approached him with this final hope, risking everything to salvage even a brief reprieve from his dire situation. Let's dive deeper into this unfolding story. First, Diddy offered a shocking $50 million bail, which left many people in awe. But that wasn't all. He really went all out, offering a $48 million Miami mansion with all the luxuries and even his own private jet, which he could have used for impromptu trips around the world. Not only that, Diddy also got his family involved. His mother and other relatives co-signed the bail, demonstrating their shared investment in getting him out of this mess. Notably, Diddy promised to surrender his passport, promising not to leave the country to avoid flights to tropical islands. He also agreed to house arrest, essentially a promise, let me stay home, but don't put me in jail. His lawyer, however, sweetened the deal by proposing weekly inspections to prove his innocence, along with a nightly visitor log to keep track of who was coming in and out of the house. Diddy specifically agreed to limit female visitors to his mother, daughter, and their mother. He was willing to follow every rule, all just to stay out of that cell. Yet despite all this, the judge took one look at that shiny bail package and coldly said no. Why? This is where things got complicated. The prosecution made a compelling argument that Diddy was not the type of person to trust, leaving his hopes seemingly dashed. To stay out of trouble, some disturbing information about Diddy's past has been revealed, painting a rather negative picture. One of the most shocking revelations is old text messages between Diddy and his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura, from 2016. In one message, shortly after the incident at the hotel, Diddy was seen frantically pleading for help, saying, Please call me! The police are here! I have six kids! Please don't leave me! This shows the level of manipulation and desperation he felt when the situation got out of control. Notably, Diddy is also accused of paying $50,000 to have the hotel delete security footage of him throwing a glass bottle at Cassie during the fight, an act of power, and an attempt to cover up evidence. When he goes to court, this image certainly doesn't help him build confidence that he won't tamper with evidence or witnesses. Additionally, Diddy's wealth and influence have given him a number of ways to make things disappear, from evidence to witnesses and other factors that could be detrimental to a trial. The court is concerned that Diddy could use his wealth to obstruct justice, perhaps even exerting pressure on those involved in the case. Diddy is no stranger to controversy, having been accused of bribery and obstruction of justice in the past, so concerns about his potential witness tampering this time around are not unfounded. Looking at high-profile cases, Diddy's case becomes even more clear. Like Harvey Weinstein, who was willing to post millions of dollars in 2017, but was still denied bail because the court feared he might obstruct justice. Or Jeffrey Epstein, who also asked for a huge bail, but the judge rejected it because he feared he would flee with the assets or influence witnesses. The lessons from these cases make the court reluctant to take risks with Diddy. The moment he heard that his $50 million bail request was rejected, Diddy hit rock bottom. Witnesses described his face as gradually stunned, panicked, and trembling, the expression of someone who had just completely lost control. His usual cool demeanor gave way to a look of collapse that was evident in every line, surprising the witnesses. 
The resilience he always showed in public seemed to melt away in that moment, revealing a person full of insecurity and vulnerability. Finally, unable to bear it any longer, he collapsed before the harsh reality of the situation. An ambulance was called to take Diddy from the court in a state of complete exhaustion. It was not just a physical reaction, but also a profound psychological collapse. A shock too great for a man who had lived in glory and power, now faced with a harsh reality that he could not recover from. Diddy, once surrounded by the aura of fame and unimaginable luxury, was faced with a harsh reality. The days of private jets and red carpets were over, at least for now. Gone were the visions of lavish mansions and high-class living, replaced by the visions of a cold, cramped prison cell. For someone who had never faced any discomfort, aside from a delayed flight or a bad review, this was an unbearable reality. Moving from a $48 million mansion to a six-by-nine-foot cell was an unimaginable psychological shock. This was perhaps the moment when things hit home. Diddy had grown accustomed to controlling everything, his career, his image, and even the people around him. Now he was faced with a situation where his money and influence could no longer save him. For anyone, this would be a blow to their self-esteem. But for someone like Diddy, it was a nightmare. Now he was facing a legal system with no shortcuts, no money or power to turn things around. It's worth noting that Diddy had been in legal trouble before, but he always found a way to get out of it. Like the infamous 1999 nightclub shooting, where he and his then-girlfriend Jennifer Lopez were arrested, but Diddy eventually got off scot-free while his partner was punished. Diddy had always had a golden touch, and accusations and scandals seemed to pass without a trace. This time, however, it felt different. This wasn't a nightclub brawl or a minor scandal. The charges were serious enough to land him in prison. For the first time in his life, Diddy realized he might not get out. The thought of spending not just years, but possibly decades in prison broke him down in the courtroom. For a man who had lived like a king, the prospect of being locked up in one of the country's most notorious prisons was more terrifying than he could have imagined. As news of Diddy's collapse spread, the music industry and fans were both shocked and concerned. Those who had once seen him as an unstoppable mogul, an icon who had weathered countless scandals and storms in the industry, could hardly believe what they were hearing. In hip-hop, Diddy had always been revered as the bigger than life, someone who had overcome all odds and remained on top. This time, however, people were unsure whether he could bounce back from this fall. On social media, mixed reactions were everywhere. Some expressed support and hope for him to pull through, while others were skeptical, wondering if this was the beginning of the end for Diddy. For someone like Diddy, who built his empire on an image of being strong and invincible, the tarnished reputation was not only financially devastating, but also deeply symbolic. Now, his world is falling apart before his eyes, and no amount of wealth or fame can fully restore it. For high-profile inmates like Diddy, Going to prison is more than just a loss of freedom. It is an immeasurable psychological shock. Diddy has grown accustomed to a life of luxury, surrounded by the spotlight and public admiration. For years, whether praised or criticized, he has had a loyal team, fans, and money to shield him. But now, within the four walls of his prison, he has no protection. The isolation he faces is not just physical loneliness, but also the sudden disintegration of all the values and authority that have defined him for so long. Now, as Diddy faces the four cold walls of prison, devoid of any luxury or glory, he must feel the world around him slowly closing in. The freedom pride, and power of the past are now just memories, replaced by a feeling of suffocation. 
This forces the authorities to closely monitor him, to avoid the risk of him falling into despair to the point of self-harm. Sadly, held, the Metropolitan Detention Center, MDC, is known as the harshest prison in the United States. The conditions here are truly horrible, cramped, unsanitary, and extremely stuffy. In the winter, the cells are freezing cold, leaving prisoners shivering under thin blankets. In the summer, the space becomes so hot that it is difficult to breathe. Power outages are common, leaving prisoners in the dark, without heat and hot water, sometimes for days at a time. Not only is MDC overcrowded, but it is also notorious for cramming prisoners into tiny cells. Privacy is virtually non-existent. Every movement is restricted and controlled. For someone like Diddy, who is used to luxury villas and large spaces, living in this confined environment must be an extremely difficult experience. Worse, Diddy is held in solitary confinement in the Special Housing Unit, SHU, an area reserved for prisoners who require maximum control. This is not a regular detention area, but a place of complete isolation, reserved for those who pose a high risk of harming themselves or others. Living within four solid walls, Diddy not only loses his freedom, but also endures cold loneliness. This is the harshest test for a person who once possessed everything, now facing his nakedness, and no longer has any power to change it. Now, Diddy is confined to a cramped six by nine foot cell, a space smaller than many people's closets. Once a $48 million mansion, he now has only a thin bed, a small desk, and a cold steel toilet. Gone are the luxuries, gone are the comforts. There's only isolation and coldness in every moment. To survive, Diddy is given a blanket, a set of prison clothes, and a few basic personal items. The once luxury cell is now a bitter memory, especially since the prison system is brutally harsh. The steel toilet can only be flushed three times a day, a strict rule to prevent inmates from flooding the cell. For Diddy, this only deepens the gap between his former life of luxury and his current poverty, a painful reminder of the long slide he's been on. Allowed to leave his room for just an hour a day, Diddy had no socializing, no friends, and no open space. Instead, he had only a small courtyard to stretch his legs in and the walls around him to remind him that this was his entire world. A world that had shrunk to the point of being stifling and dark, a stark contrast to the days of flying in private jets, attending lavish parties and staying in lavish mansions. No more soft silk sheets, no more fine furniture. The only thing he owned was a thin, cold, sandpaper-like blanket and the cold metal bars around him. For Diddy, this was more than just a place to be held. It was the harshest reality, the shock of his life, and nothing could compare to its nakedness and cruelty. Diddy now faces another major concern, his safety. His celebrity status, combined with the serious nature of the charges, has made him a prime target in prison circles. In prison culture, taking down a high-profile inmate like Diddy is seen as a badge of honor, an accomplishment to brag about among inmates. Diddy's attorneys have expressed concern that he could be in danger in prison. They have even attempted to transfer him to another facility in New Jersey, where they believe his safety would be better assured. The charges against Diddy are not only terrifying, but shocking for someone of his stature. If convicted, Diddy could face life in prison. The charges against Diddy are reminiscent of those often leveled at mafia bosses. He's not only involved in criminal activities, but is also accused of being the head of a criminal organization. Authorities allege that he used his music business connections, and vast fortune to cover up or even organize serious illegal activities. Diddy didn't just engage in crime, he allegedly ran a large-scale criminal enterprise using his power to control and manipulate others. 
When people hear about these allegations, they often think of organized crime, and that's exactly what prosecutors are implying. Diddy's empire revolved around more than just music and fashion. It had a dark side where all sorts of criminal behavior took place. The indictment paints a picture of a system that operated continuously and for years. These allegations are not just about Diddy's actions. He allegedly used his business, his employees, and even his security team to facilitate disturbing events, from lavish parties to shadowy control operations. Many of the women who attended Diddy's events were left in a position of power and influence. He allegedly used his power and influence to coerce them into attending, even threatening to cut off financial support if they didn't comply. Falsifying statements and intimidation are common practices, especially when you have as much wealth and power as Diddy does. Keeping those involved quiet seems to be easier than ever in that context. One of the key pieces of evidence that emerged during Diddy's bail hearing was a text message from 2016 involving his ex-girlfriend, Cassie Ventura. During the incident, Diddy allegedly took Cassie to a hotel and then paid the hotel to delete the security footage. He also sent a desperate message asking Cassie to call him because the police were on their way. Not only is this situation troubling, it also shows that Diddy is not afraid to tamper with evidence and his victims. When you have millions of dollars, bribing or threatening others becomes a very real possibility, and that is what authorities are worried about. When the criminal organization charges were brought, prosecutors claimed that Diddy did not act alone. They argued that his entire business empire, from bad boy records to many other projects, were part of a criminal organization designed to assist him in his illegal activities. Diddy's employees were even said to have assisted him by arranging flights to find women and making sure everything went smoothly. From security guards to support staff, everyone played a part in keeping these crimes hidden for as long as possible. When celebrities and powerful figures are accused of such crimes, the legal consequences are often severe. Diddy's case mirrors many similar scandals, showing that power and money cannot hide the truth forever. Harvey Weinstein was once as untouchable in Hollywood as Diddy was in the music industry. But once the voices started to rise, it was like a dam broke, unable to stop the flow of accusations. Both men tried to use their wealth and influence to control the narrative, but eventually, the truth came out. It is very possible that Diddy will follow a similar path. The involvement of Jennifer Lopez and Young Miami in this situation is a shocking turn of events that has taken everyone by surprise. This story not only affects Diddy, but could also put the lives of J-Lo and Young Miami in jeopardy, with serious lawsuits looming. This situation does not only revolve around Diddy, but also involves some big names in the entertainment industry. Back to the...